This is a breeding herd of sable antelope. Looks like about 30 animals. Interesting with these breeding or nursery herds, you see that the dominant females lead the group and almost control the, the boundaries for the youngsters inside of it. You see how they stand sentinel, the dominant females, out on the edges, constantly alert to our presence. Each time we come at them, the females position themselves so that they can see us all the time. And they keep a distance between us, 70 to 90 meters. Not comfortable with us being any closer than that. And then something shifts the wind and off they go. And we follow, coming at them from a different angle. There's a clear view of this magnificent dominant bull that works this nursery herd. What an incredible animal this is. And they have a way of hiding themselves behind the grass and the bushes so that you just can't get a clear view. You see in the females the twin pair of mammae between the back legs. These creatures drop their calves right through the air. Right here as the evening begins to set in, the bull decides to show us just who is in charge of this territory. He does this display, shoving his head into this gooey bush and slashing the branches and leaves and just showing the size of his weapons. The pride that this animal displays is magnificent to behold and it is no wonder that the Zulu call this sable bull in Kolongwani, which means the one that causes us to ululate, to celebrate, to rejoice in its magnificence. That's the sable antelope.